Tales. I'm Sherbert. If you don't know me, I'm a first suitor YouTuber. And I've done a couple of things in Japan. Check these out.地球我が地球よそれは無数の世界の一つであると同時に完全に分離した世界しかし運命が未知なる世界とつなげようとしているライレーシアそこは宿敵との戦いに閉じ込められた魔法動物の世界地球に危険が迫ったその時一匹の
for uh, for the YouTube channel. And then when we were developing it, I'm like, okay, you know what? We need to put this together and make it into a pitch for a series. Because it's expensive. It's not easy to make this stuff. I don't want my money back. Because, it, you know, it's an investment or something. So we put it together. You know what? Do that again. Do it! It's all good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, we we took all the little clips that we made with Sherbert, and we put it together into like a short video. Uh, and then we started we started developing the story around it. And originally, um, the people that I were working with, uh, were really connected with Netflix. So we're like, well, let's make this show for Netflix. Well, what do we need? We need murder. We need violence. And I'm like, but Sherman's adorable! And you're like, no! Death! Sorry. Death! Death from above! Well, technically from below, because I'm so short. But... So... Basically, the original premise for the Sherman anime series was Digimon with murder. And I'm not talking like dead bodies, I'm talking like dismembered bodies. Like, really, like, crazy stuff. But, because Sherbert's so adorable, um, it didn't, didn't fly. Cute characters doing things related to murder and stuff, apparently, apparently doesn't work unless you're like Monica or something. Just saying, I don't know. So in the meantime, we had shown it to some of the Japanese companies that produce anime. And uh, they were like, this is a really cool show, but it needs to be for kids. And I'm like, okay, less murder, slightly less murder. Okay, we're taking out the murder completely. No more murder, okay? Guys, no more murder. Yeah, okay. So, we got rid of the murder. Um, secret, there might be some murder. to all of the murder and made it into a magical girl series and it's really cool and i'm really happy with it uh how it's been turning out um but then we had to deal with getting the voices together for the trailer that we produced and i'm gonna tell you a little secret um so originally we were told that we should just look at the different talent agencies in Japan. I used to do casting in LA, but not in, uh, in Japan. So it's like a whole different thing. And so we originally, we found like, you know, a couple of people. We found this guy who was like, man number three in Digimon Try. And we're like, all right, well, I guess we're going with man number three. But then I did something stupidly brilliant. I guess. Um, I sent an email to the studio. Uh, and I said, you know what? You know who would make the perfect voice for Sherbert down the road? Kampe Yamaguchi! The voice of Inuyasha, L from Death Note, Red 13, the Final Fantasy 7 remake, Usopp and One Piece, um, Kuma and Persona 4. And they're all like, hold my Sapporo Ichiban. 24 hours later, like, yeah, he'll do the narration you want him, and I'm like, <laughs> wait, wait, I got, hold on, I gotta do that again. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. So yeah, so Kapi Yamaguchi narrated the trailer, which we call in Japanese the PV, or promo video. So, Kapi Yamaguchi, we brought Kapi Yamaguchi on board, and he's so nice. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can see I interviewed him. In the fursuit. So, we were actually in talks in Japan when COVID hit. 
So while we were stuck in COVID land, um, we decided to make a manga series. And we teamed up with a with a shoujo manga artist named Mochi Usagi, which is appropriate because Usagi is bunnies. Um, and then we started a Kickstarter for the manga series, which succeeded. Let's run the promo for the manga now, so I can talk about that. Hi, Charlotte. This. Erika, Hesin. Just to look at my butt for 20 minutes. <laughs> 